Marina Kamenska uh, from Wakanda, which is northwest of Chicago. Um, at least two people already mentioned gesture. I'm all about gesture. I'm still working with the same motif with which I started working maybe in 2004, but it takes very different ways. It takes me in different directions, uh, and I don't think about it as a motif anymore. It's just a shape that my hand cuts. And you can see how different gestures can be. A gesture for one person is so different. My gesture is this. And when I make a cut, it's adrenaline, it's, I get high. It is an exhilarating feeling. So even if I make a small sketch on paper, which I not always do, it will still become different because what you do with your pencil is so different from this. It is, of course, violent, it is aggressive, but uh, violence and aggression can create things, not just destroy. Um, I am all about line, shape, color, and movement, motion, dynamics. I never start from a story like uh, some event or some impression from life. I tried twice, it was a disaster. So it's not mine, or maybe I will come to it from a different point of view. Who knows? Um, this is all about line. And this is actually about line too, this one. Then sometimes I would look, it happened recently, I looked at my shapes and I noticed that the um, negative space that gets created by me using those shapes may be very interesting. And I thought, okay, maybe in the next work I will go from the inside out and start from this negative space as a shape, making it the figure, which I did here. Those squares, I call them squares. <laughs> They are what is created when I use my shapes, you see, those. But of course, the shape, this shape still somehow found its way into the composition. Sometimes I think, what if I do an edge? Not in these works, not on, in this show, but if some of my shapes get a thin edge along them, and I can work that way. So my shapes take me in very different directions. Uh, but it's always about the same cut. My hand cut, cuts it like that. As for quilting, the ones that are in the show are quilted very straightforwardly. I follow the shape. I think about what direction I should take, what edge to follow. Do I follow this edge with parallel lines or this edge? It's all always a matter of decision. Uh, Sometimes I do things differently. I may follow the shape but shift it. Or I may add to the shape. For example, I would maybe take this shape huh, and continue it with quilting over the other one using again black uh, thread. It is very subtle. It's almost not noticeable. But when you come close, it gives some additional interest. But sometimes I don't need it. So these three are quilted just along the shape different from the background, different direction. That's how they, I think, wanted to be quilted. Uh, as motion, direction, movement is very important to me, I think a lot about how to make it visible in the quilt. For example, that half inch up there, it was needed. Just as I needed to cut the shape so you think that it's falling off and you can sort of, uh, in your head, uh, imagine how it should be when it's full. Maybe it's the start of a different quilt in your one. This is falling off the edge, this is not. To me, it is important. So the, you go up, and then you are off. Where do I go here? Again, it's the beginning of something new for me. So that's more or less it.